All right, we're starting a new season. We just finished up running through the off season, updating all of the stat pages and rearranged conferences. We had a little bit of conference realignment. So excited to uh, announce that we removed four teams from our conference and added a different four teams. And just checking on my schedule just now, I think we're playing, I know we're playing Nebraska, new to the conference. Kansas and Kansas State, new to the conference. And, and I just did update some of my commands. Let me smash that schedule command. Oh, I, I spelled Northwestern wrong. I mean, no, I didn't. Don't look at the chat. <laughs> I was like, I know someone picked the DC at Colorado. So for those who don't know, um, we started this dynasty with Texas. What's up, Binky? How's it going? Started with Texas. We did uh, four seasons until we won a national championship. We moved over to Alabama, won the national championship the first year. So every time you won a national championship, you got to up the difficulty, up the sliders. And you got to switch to a new team. So after Alabama, up the sliders, moved to a new team. We chose a rebuild. We chose San Jose State. So we got uh, two seasons done so far. Recruiting is going okay. Did that dude just catch that ball? <laughs> um, but yeah, I got the, the coach spreadsheet all updated. So I don't think any of the user coaches actually moved. I think all the user coaches are at the same place they were last year. Because uh, Binky, I know you got, I think Binky, you got two c coaches last year and Random picked up one coach last year. So, uh, t -t 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 -t. so yeah, they weren't likely to go anywhere right away. And then a couple of the other user coaches like had changed teams the year before that. I think most coordinators wouldn't start leaving until they've been somewhere for three years. I think a lot of coordinator contracts are three years long. There we go. Bum Shank starting it off strong. We won week one, 20 to seven. <laughs> hey, you'll, you'll take a victory any way you can get it, right? Keen McQueen, the new starting running back. Big old 13-yard run. Yeah, I'd say uh, when I took over San Jose State, the defense was really old the first year. So then in the second year, the defense took a step back. Can he make this throw? Yes, sir. What a throw by the sophomore quarterback. What you been up to this week, Binky? Thanks for hopping in. I know uh, I've been real busy with work, so I haven't been able to stream during the week lately. But hopefully that'll change soon. Ooh, I thought I could squeeze that in there. To Baffles guy, Dion Warwick. My goal this year is to reach... Ooh, okay, well, all right. I'm not going to say it's impossible. It's a, it's a tough goal. It's a high. Got to shoot high, right? <clears throat> yeah, and I like I said, I was just updating the coach spreadsheets today. I want to say Marshall's head coach left. I can go check on it in just a second here after this drive. Dang. Team McQueen, you got to get a little more speed, baby. throw touchdown all right that's the way to start the season right there come on, come on, come on. 
So anyway, conference realignment. Um, starting in year two and all the way through year seven. We split up <clears throat> the Mountain West, the Big 12, and the Pac-12. And we kind of came to like a balanced. So we balanced all three conferences and then put them into regions like Southwest, Northwest, and then that central area, the mountain and the plains. Why is that guy just standing there? <laughs> and after, so what is that then? Six seasons we ran? We ran that with six seasons. And it's like all the Mountain West teams kind of thought if they were in a good conference, it would help their recruiting. Maybe their coaches would stay a little bit longer. Not the case. <laughs> it's like UNLV was in the Southwest Conference. They had one season where they won the division. That like that was the most success any of these Mountain West teams really had. So I decided to reform the Mountain West. Uh, so where? Let me take a, take a look at the Mountain West here. Ooh, come on, we need an interception here, boys. So I believe of the 12 teams that are like real life Mountain West, we put all 11 back in it, minus San Jose State, of course, because I didn't want to go back to the Mountain West with this team. And so we filled in a 12th team. We stuck BYU into the Mountain West. So Mountain West is back together. So that was like four teams from the Northwest, four teams from the Southwest, four teams from the Mountain Plains area. Uh, that was a bad idea. So removing the four teams from the Southwest Conference, removing the four teams from the big Northwest Conference, we needed to backfill those. Well, we backfilled it with... Uh, Teams that were in the Mountain Plains. There we go, Peen. There we go, Peen. So that had a history of being in like a large conference. Like in real life, they were Pac-12 or Big 12 schools. So the ones that went to my conference, which made it much less of a Northwest conference. We were in the Big Northwest conference. So we got renamed. We're no longer Big Northwest. We are now just Western Conference. And that's because of the schools we added. They, If you hear these school names, you're not going to think, oh, yeah, that's a Northwest school. So Nebraska, <laughs> you don't think of Nebraska as a Northwestern school, but you could consider them Western. So Nebraska, Kansas, and Kansas State, plus Colorado. So they fit the description of a Western conference. Please don't get tripped. He got tripped. Um, so that, that was the difference for our conference going into this year. We kicked out, we kicked out the losers. Um, I'm looking at the page right here. We kicked out Utah state. We kicked out Nevada. We kicked out Boise state and we kicked out Fresno state. And then we brought in, like I said, those four uh, big boys. Nice throw. Didn't Marshall have three wins last year? Um, my page here says four and eight. Four and eight. I can double check that on the standings page. Yep, four and eight. Three and five in the conference, but four and eight overall. Nice block. Nice block. All right. Yeah, so Joe Johnson, he's got four and eight on his record, OC at Marshall, and year eight listed still as the OC at Marshall. We've got Bobby Toparts, five and seven as DC at Georgia Southern. And still the DC at Georgia Southern this season. And of course, uh, San Jose State has offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator. We got Coach Baffle 99 and Coach Robbie C. 
Ooh. Benson's taking a lot of hits here. So this is the quarterback that I recruited my first year. You know, it's like you come into a new school that it's, ooh, oh my God. Did y'all just see that? P. McQueen's out for 12 weeks. Oh, I'm sorry, Quantum. Your dude's out for 12 weeks. Well, the uh, the backup running back just became a hot commodity for people to claim him and get his name. Backup halfback, Walker. Oh, I pitched it. Damn. I'm not so good at running the speed option. Got myself into a third and seven situation, huh? So I've got my best receiver, RB. Bump shanks in the RB position, which is the guy that usually gets open on this plane. I guess I'll try the underneath guy. Fourth and three. Should I go for it? Oh, man. I really want to go for it, but I don't know if it's such a good idea. This close to halftime. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was wondering if I should have aimed a little bit more left. And both years, I've tried to recruit a punter, but I'm not going to like prioritize recruiting a punter beginning in week one when it's like you need linebackers and you need corners and you need halfbacks and tight ends and linemen offensive linemen dang um so I've like tried to recruit punters what's up quantum when are you going to play a real sport like ultimate frisbee when are you going to play a real sport like soccer? Uh, so, Quantum, uh, how long have you been in the stream? <laughs> um, what was it? Strategy? Injury report? So, go ahead and take a look at this injury report. <laughs> first quarter of the first game Pete McQueen is the starting running back <laughs> tears his ab abdominal muscle out for 12 weeks the season's only 12 games long <laughs> you told me he was going to be good oh, oh man look at him go backwards like that so we're, we're going to let that list. Uh, the defensive end, Robertson, he's a starter as a freshman. Uh, we've got a middle linebacker who's a starter as a freshman. And what else am I looking at? What else am I looking at? Well, I guess I'm look, just looking at like my strong safety as a sophomore. One of my corners is a sophomore. So we're kind of, we're turning over the roster here. We're going to get our roster an upgrade. Walker picking up the first down. Should even go and edit that. I'm not gonna go edit that player's command. I'm kind of, kind of hoping somebody will claim Walker before uh, before this stream is over.
Wow. What a play by Jackson. Oh, man. Dude was cutting in before the receiver even cut in. All right, that's fine. Where is hand going? Oh no. Wow. Northwestern's really taking the momentum here. Get him, get him, get him. Don't let him go, Erlocker. Turn around! Ooh. Man, the momentum is in their favor for sure. Please. Yes! Run it back. Run it back. Oh, please, West. West. My roster. Is a backup strong safety? I think he was a, a linebacker. I just converted to safety in the offseason. Good thing I didn't get that throw off because I was about to throw an interception. All right, what's my third and 20 play? Does anybody truly have a go to third and 20 play? Besides four verticals. <laughs> Hayden, we'll see how fast Hayden is. Damn. Probably should have tried to throw to Hayden. I was looking at Hayden or Bumshank. There we go. But anyway, it's like, yeah, you get boom, boom. You get guys that first year. And not only are they already going to be like solid contributors in year three, but they should still be there in year four and year five. It's like, hell yes. Feel great about your linebacker core. Get them. Wrap them up. Oh my gosh. 97 Muhammad. I think he led all of NCAA in sacks last year. And this is why I have this Google spreadsheet. I can just click over to NCAA leaders. Scroll over to year seven, down to defensive sacks. Peter Muhammad, San Jose State, 11, led the country. The next closest guys were nine and a half. All for not. But yeah, uh, first year with San Jose State, we had Julio Jones Jr., Led the country with 35 yards average. Look at Muhammad blasting through the middle there. And then last year, Dion Warwick took over. 32.3 average. But two guys. Hopefully we'll keep getting more and more. Yo, what's up, baller? You got a new username? Did you sub to my YouTube channel? You got quite the uh, the bot system there. I think it's like the fourth or fifth time you've come in my channel with like exactly the same name. Like, I mean, exactly the same message <laughs> and you never follow through. I just don't get it. Oh, what's the point? Actually, no, I wanted to, 
I picked this formation so that I could do this formation again. Or Rick and Holiday. B, 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 B. Man, I threw it a little bit too late, but at least he ran his route to the outside. If he had kept going straight, that safety would have jumped in front. Would have been real bad news. I've been trying to call you about your car extended warranty. I could really use an extended warranty for my car. Perfect timing for you to ask about that. <laughs> How are you doing, NCAA? This is a bad idea. Oh my god. It was a great idea. I saw you up in uh, Coach Playa's chat earlier today. It was nice. I actually had, like, I could sit in his chat for, like, half an hour or an hour, which is, like, the most time I've had in a month to be able to go sit in somebody's chat and just chill. Okay, I don't like what I'm seeing here. I don't love it, but it's too late to change, and I'm not going to waste the time out. So let's just run up the middle and lose yardage. Oh, five wide receiver flex habit or just, just five wide? Play is awesome, even allows to troll with the soundboard. <laughs> so whenever I try to get cool sound alerts, like Baffle has a lot of good ones, and Coach Playa has a lot of good ones. Didn't want to... Oh, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. Finally, he looked open enough. I'm like, fine, I'll try it. He looks like he's open in the end zone. New PC, but it's like... Oh, I can't believe I missed that. No way. Oh, I can't believe I'm about to lose this game. But hey, it's like I'm running with the bare minimum here. The stream works. And it's not like I'm playing... Uh... Not like I'm playing a super high graphics intensity game where I need to be streaming in, like, 4K or anything like that. This is a 10-year-old video game. Fumble? Ooh. All right, so... Both teams have all three timeouts. Tied at 10. They're about midfield. Can't you challenge those? Um, probably. I've literally never won a challenge. Like, the only things that get overturned is when it's uh, like an automatic review. All right, this is dangerous. I'm gonna send a few blitzers here. Like, that used to just challenge just for the sake of challenging. Blitz does not get home. And we get burned for it. Dang. I think I'm going to regret sending the blitz on that third down. That might cost me the game. Because they are just... I'm going to call timeout right now. That's not good. This would be a good win for them. I, I don't know what to do. I can't. There's nothing I can do. I just kept giving up first down after first down. I just have to hope that they run an eight-second play. I should just pull my guys back. No, no, no. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. Let them in. Let them in. Let them in. Because otherwise they're just going to kick a field goal. Splitter, stop making dumb mistakes. 
I could go 12 and 0 if I just wouldn't make dumb mistakes. So what I can throw maybe one. Oh, if I throw a long pass, that's that'll take more than five seconds. I think I only really have one shot here. We'll see. Ooh, it's not even bum shake. It's Stanford on the outside there. Well, what can you do? Sometimes you see something and send. Yeah, I just went for it. It's like. <laughs> The thing is, like, I was looking at it the whole time. I'm like, no, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's going to be an interception. And then he just, like, ran to the corner of the end zone. I think if I had thrown it immediately as he went there, it would have been fine. But I waited, like, an extra second. And then the defense had time to go to start moving over to cover him. And the throw was offline. All right. So that was not the best second half ever. But don't go anywhere. We're going to play another game here. And I'm going to turn the music up a tad. You can hear the play clock. Rumbling, stumbling, bumbling for the first down. I think I let the uh, the coach suggest way too many plays for me last time. I'm going to try to be more hands-on with my play calling. So those are all just runs to the right? Oh, you don't need to <laughs> just stand where stand where you are, Stanford. The ball will get to you. Um, please throw the ball away. And when I said throw the ball away, I definitely meant don't fumble it. Oh. I don't... So as soon as I rolled out, I'm like, this was a mistake. And then I'm like, what do I do to fix it? How about instead of sprinting and sprinting and having him tackle me while I sprint, I'm like, how about I try to throw the ball away? And that didn't work. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I've had games last year where I was down... Uh, I'm thinking of the Nevada game. I was down 14 nothing right away. Came back and won. Wow. And remember, we do have the option to change quarterbacks, too. I think, like, all three of my quarterbacks are essentially equal. Although, that was a really nice throw by Benson. <laughs> we might stick with Benson. Let's see. He, he was uh, named... Binky, was that? I haven't been keeping track of who named the players. Binky, was that you that named uh, Benson? It's like, I know he's a player name or a username guy, so I want to use him if I can. And obviously, Bumshank is named. Doja Cat. I'm not so sure about this album. 
I think you did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for San Jose State, I think it's been mostly Binky, Random, and Quantum. All right, new playlist. Ba -na 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 -na. Hey, Tommy Hayden, the freshman. I think that's his first catch. First catch of his career. Wow. We had two blockers running up the field, but uh, they had a defender covering the running back and a defender covering the quarterback. and Y on the inside or B on the out. Ooh, nice move by Warwick. Baffles named player. And I know that one's Baffles because Dion Warwick was a singer who had some song about San Jose State. Ugh. Wow. That worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. Okay, so it was number 10 that... 44 overall fullback? He's in. Let's go. Oh no! Our defense is really sloppy. In basketball. Man. Can we get this guy? Can we get this guy? Can we please get this guy? That is crazy run. Get him. And that's a fumble recovered by them again. But what do you expect when they have so many offensive linemen around them? All right. Turning the music back down for stream. Not sure how many of y'all are... Uh, Tay Tay Swifties. Don't want to scare you guys away. Ooh, good pressure, good pressure. That was my defense's problem last year, is I just could not get pressure. Muhammad led the country in sacks. But if he wasn't getting pressure, uh, the other defensive end I had sucked. I think Greco was my starting D tackle last year. And like he's he's okay now that he's had another year of development. But it's like out of my three linemen in the three four formation, only if only one of them's good. You're in trouble. So like Muhammad and Greco starters again, so they've had another year of development. And now I've got a freshman on the other side. A lot of a lot of ranked teams getting upset early in the season here. So like the freshman isn't amazing. Well, I mean, for freshman standards, he's amazing. But assuming he'll be a four-year starter, because he's uh, 79 overall right now. So like, 
84, 85 next year. In the eight high 80s as a junior. And then up into the 90s as a senior, assuming he doesn't leave. Oh, I should have thrown the B. This was the guy I saw release first. So that's why I threw it to him. Uh, see, I'm in the coach suggestions again. That's why I'm struggling. There we go. Come on. Oh, he's backing off. Wow, that is way too far. Come on, Benson. Don't make me bring in the backup. I'm looking the Warwick bomb shake side. I don't know what to do in that situation because I can clearly see that's what's probably going to happen. All right, let's let's keep track. How many quarterback changes do we make this season? Jeez, he's 90 overall right now. So McClellan's the guy with no speed. So he'll be the pocket passer. Do I have good 2D tackles? Oh no, this formation gets four linebackers on the field. So Webb is a freshman. I mean, I could change the formation where it puts four linemen. But I think it's, I think it's designed that way on purpose. That the guys on the end would be linebackers. What are they going to do? The kick a field goal? Go for it? It's a little long field goal. They're going to try it? I guess it's under 50. They're a Big Ten school. Maybe they have a good kicker. Oh, man. That is the best kick I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, baby. Just enough mobility in my McClellan to buy enough time. Wow. Classic splitter, third and short play. No, 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 no. Don't go backwards. Don't go backwards. Just let him tackle you where he is. Don't try to juke or anything. Oh, man. All right. Are we going to have enough time to get the middle slant? Possibly. Possibly. A. A. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's about to get sacked. All right, well, at this point, I should be killing the clock. That's a touchdown for Miss Dion Warwick. Sing that song about San Jose, baby. See, if I just relax and chill, I play so much smarter. Don't rush, don't panic.
Get him. Get him. Throw him to the ground if you have to. <laughs> so there's a TikTok account. Their videos keep showing up for me. It's like, guy listens to songs from the like late 90s or 2000s. They're like essentially people in my age grew up with. That was quick. It's like, listen to lyrics and it's like, oh, actually these were like about really like terrible things like, you know, drugs or violence or whatever. And the, the verse that we just heard was like talking about crystal meth and snorting things through your nose and shit. It's like, oh yeah, it really just kind of like sneak in there. Like, I'm sure that wasn't in the radio version. So like a lot of us didn't have access to like the explicit version. But still, it's like, whoa, I don't remember that being part of this song. Talk about crystal meth and snorting things through your nose. I was like, there's no way that actually gets there. Oh, man, that's nuts. He's already got 136. Oh, shoot. Did not realize the clock was going to be running out of the out of the huddle like that. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I should not have uh, dove for the end zone right there. He might have fumbled that. Two yard line. Ooh, don't like that they moved up like that. What the hell? kind of blocking. Oh. I only got one timeout left. I could still maybe. Can maybe get a couple plays in. Right there. Touchdown. Oof. Oh, that felt good. That whole drive felt really good. First game, defensive battle. Second game, both teams have 20 <laughs> at halftime. What the heck? That was weird. Oh, it's supposed to be like a middle screen to the running back? Oh my god, an actual... Is this the first punt of the game? Sure as heck feels like it. Don't like that. Don't like that. Oh my God, just threw it far enough. Oh, that was a risky throw. It's like Hayden and Warwick were like tied up together. Stanford maybe could get free. Oh, this is stupid. Don't do this. Don't do that. Oh. The guy underneath was open. Uh, he's frozen again. I like this. I like that I got another free tackle. That happened once last game, too, and it, that's never happened before. Like I said, can't wait for the new game to come out. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't have errors like that. But then again, it is EA, so who knows? Get him. Thank you. Now, if we give up a first down on third and 18, Splitter going to be mad. Splitter going to be angry. Oh, Stanford, where are you going? Yeah. 
Yeah, it seems like this play always drags the linebackers and the safety to the right. And it leaves that these guys in single coverage. Yeah, look at that. So like Warwick should probably be open. Ooh, they're gonna they're gonna press Bumshank? They're gonna press Bumshank? Well that's what's gonna happen, baby. Let's go! You just want to coach players, you know, it's there. Get wrecked, Mr. Corner, with the press coverage. Ooh, number one, Texas A&M. Jimbo Fisher, going strong. Oh, screen, 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 screen. Yes! Oh, baby. Oh, I was trying so hard to get over there. Are they going to go for it now that it's going to be fourth quarter? You know, like, that's a major switch from third to fourth quarter. They start getting a lot more aggressive. No, not yet. Okay, well, we'll try punt return right again. Clutch skill, fourth quarter activated. Close game. Wow. <laughs> First, I should not have been rolling out with McClellan. Second of all, I threw it on the run. I guess that was it. I didn't need to list it as first and second. It's only uh, two mistakes. Oh, I got Warwick in that spot. Um, Shank holds on to it for the first down. I would love... Oh my god, he's got 222, 222 yards. If I could uh, go ahead and tack on some more points, at least a field goal to give myself a seven-point lead. Mm, I'm not liking these outside runs. How? Okay, I'm not sure where this run is going. Uh, I should have stayed to the left more. I was afraid of that guy coming from the outside, though. Trying to buy enough time for Warwick to get all the way over there. Man. Guess I don't have a lot of run plays out of shotgun. Rutgers sprint special that are not a uh, read option. Speed option, yeah. So if I want to run, it's got to be out of the pistol. Wow. Um, this is some weird motion out of the running back. Good time. Yes. So I was basically just watching that one defender to see who he went with, who he leaned with. Uh, timeout, Illinois. There we go. Trying to thread the needle here. <laughs> Time out, Illinois. Ooh, middle linebacker. Come on. There we go. He's blocked. He's blocked. That's a first down. Last timeout for Illinois. Hmm. Watching the replay here. No, I really didn't have a chance to bounce outside. All right, now do I pass or do I run again? Oh, you idiot. You can run. You can. Can I run the clock out here? I'm sitting here like trying to score or whatever, but they. <laughs> 
it's like a 40 second difference, which is exactly how long the play clock is. So I just need to like run a play. Honestly, I actually... Let's think about this. <laughs> okay, we can't run out of bounds, though, but we could just run around with the quarterback and then dive on the ground. But if you try to dive on the ground and you're behind the line of scrimmage, you might accidentally like throw the ball. And you don't want your quarterback to get tackled because he might fumble it. Let's... Let's give it to the running back and maybe just run backwards. I don't actually want to score, right? Like, don't run out of bounds. Don't run into a hard tackle where you can fumble it. Just run long enough to make sure that that, that game clock is going to be under the play clock. Wow. First half shootout. We'll take the W. Great game by the uh, replacement quarterback coming in. Don't go anywhere. You're going to be playing another one. So, bum shank. Had 222 at one point. That's what he finished with. 222, two touchdowns. There we go. We got a freshman receiver. I'd recommend somebody claims him. I'd recommend somebody claim the, uh, the quarterback that we played here. 14 or 17, three touchdowns. And our new starting running back. So I recommend somebody claim him, even though he only averaged 2.4. <laughs> Trying to kind of recruit to like, based on what I need. I knew Oklahoma's 91 overall. How did they only win like four games last year? So it's like, you need good tight ends. Cause I use a tight end on a good number of my formations. And like, especially on running plays, like you need tight ends for goal line formations. And if I run the ace formation, you have two tight ends on the field. And you also have, like, fullback on the field for those plays. So they need to be good blockers. Whereas, yes, it is really annoying. It's it's annoying to have a bad punter. But one, I'm a pretty aggressive play caller anyway. If I'm past the 50-yard line, and it's, like, fourth and three, I'm going to go for it. Like if, if I'm past the 50 yard line, I'm never going to punt. And if I'm like, say between my own 40 and the 50 and it's fourth and five or fourth and four or less, like I'm still going to go for it. So like, I don't know, analytics or analytical or whatever you want to call it, or just like, I'm just an aggressive guy. It's like, I feel like I should be able to run some plays to get five yards or four yards. I'd rather maintain ball control than to try to give the ball away. It's so like I use goal line formation, so you've got a fullback and what, three tight ends there? Number 10. Yeah, so that's using two tight ends. So I've got two tight ends on this. It's like I need my tight ends to be good. Ooh, I didn't mean to spin that way. Oh. By the way, how are you doing, Wes? What are you up to tonight? You playing some NCAA? Playing some man? I keep talking like I'm going to start a man franchise. But it's like... I think my viewers would get mad at me if I started a man franchise and didn't make progress in San Jose State. 
There we go. It's like I finally have a little free time this weekend. I was possibly going to go to the Badger basketball game or the Badger hockey game today. Of course, I immediately punt. <laughs> First drive of the game, I'm going to punt. After just saying I hardly ever punt. Get him, get him, get him. Bring him down. So yeah, I was possibly going to go to the Badger basketball game or the Badger hockey game. But then, like, I looked at ticket prices and was asking around if anyone would want to go with me. And, like, nobody really wanted to go. So then I was like, okay, well, I don't have a problem going to games by myself. But then it's like, well... If I'm going to go to a game by myself, my uh, cutoff point for the ticket price gets lower. It's like, I'm willing to pay more if I have a couple of friends to go with, but I'm going by myself. <laughs> These tickets better be cheap. And they were not cheap. <laughs> Plus the Badger basketball team lost. Anyway, they lost a home game to Illinois. And it's like the cheapest ticket I could find as of like two days ago was still like $90. I'm not, I'm not gonna pay $90 when I think my team's gonna lose. So anyway, that's a long way of saying I did not go to Badger basketball or Badger hockey. And I was like, you know what? I can finally like sit down and put a few hours into streaming. Like run a few errands in the morning, watch a little college basketball in the afternoon. I'm totally missed on that one. So I can get my college basketball fix in. Houston's up by six, which is exactly what they were favored by. And then started the stream three hours ago, around 6 o'clock. That's not good. That's not good. Get out of my way. Oh, Oklahoma's good, man. Yeah, Oklahoma's good. So it's like I have four streaming games, four games that I consider like my streaming games right now. The finals, I have not played the finals in over a month. The Halo campaigns, I'm still only doing that like once or twice a month. The Pokemon campaigns, I'm still working on the first game. And the San Jose State, it's like I finished off season two. And then I was taking a while to uh, to update all the stat pages. It takes me a while to update the stat pages for the off season, all the coaching changes, Heisman voting, NCAA stat leaders, all that. Team records. Why is why is McClellan running the ball there? Somebody explain that one to me. I'm confused on that one. Yeah, McCullough's the quarterback. What the heck? Oh, I, oh, I did get it. <laughs> I didn't think I got the first down. Oh, and as a reminder, what do I have the uh, the player naming cost? I still have that pretty cheap, don't I? Yeah, it's only seven fifty to claim a player, and coach is only a thousand. Please hang on to that ball, Mr. Williams, senior tight end. 
who will leave a gaping hole in the tight end room when he leaves. Hey, let's run the same play. Let's just run the same play and throw it to the same guy. How about that? Do we do it a third time in a row? No, we don't. That's really the only play I run out of the shotgun split. Is there another play I should be running out of shotgun split? Oh, should I try the halfback screen? Let's try it. I'm not really good at screen passes in this game. That's, that's why. I don't know what you're supposed to do there. Like, what? Like, the running back hadn't even gotten past the, the lineman yet. I don't get it. Freshman wide receiver, 10 yard gain. Through that so early. <laughs> I think I had to though. Cannot believe we got a first down out of that somehow. So I, I like running out of this train formation. That's what I need a fullback. I don't know who 47 is. Is that just another running back? Okay, that is uh Running back that is getting the ball. I'm not sure how that play is supposed to work. It's like the running backs are just gonna get in each other's way. Let's let's not run that play anymore. That was a failure. And Houston is still up six. Come on, Houston, win by more than six, please. Crazy. All right, let's try the slant flats. Marshall, 7-7. Seven, seven. Thumbshank and Stanford. Oh. So I should have thrown to the guy on the left then, huh? Yeah, dude on the left is wide open. I'm like, clear, 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 throw. Dang. All right, that, that play could have worked, though. You know, we need to get to the goal. I don't know if I want to run this play, then. Eh. Yeah, no. All right, Williams or Stanford? Come on. I can't. I can't throw it yet because nobody's open. I'm on, I'm like the 18-yard line. You want me to go for it on fourth and goal? Fourth and 18. Get off me. Get off me. Oh, come on. That's my sophomore strong safety. Not super great yet, but when he's a junior and a senior, he should be pretty good. Oh, come on. It's like, I know I gotta get that outside and I still can't do it. Oh! 
I messed that up. And they still can't even tackle. Boys, I think I might be in trouble this game. I think they were counting that it was 4th and 18. But still, they're like, hey, Oklahoma's going to score a lot in this game. I don't think you can win with field goals. No more field goals. We're going to have to go for touchdowns. And there are a lot of a lot of players available right now. Because we, we keep turning over this San Jose State roster. And uh, if you want to be an offensive coordinator or defensive coordinator for any team, well, for a team, that was unbelievable. He's out of bounds. Can I challenge that? I think his right foot was down. Are you saying the side of his foot touched right there? Boom. But then it's... I don't think... I don't think that counts. That should not count. Side of his foot touches, but when his foot fully lands, he's on the line. Okay, we'll look at the catch. I think his feet are off the ground already, aren't they? Oh my god. Alright, vote in chat. Was that a catch or not? Boom, baby. Mm, why is my guy so slow? Block for me, baby. Oh, I can't get around him. I just need to end this half with a score. Well, I can't kick field goals. I need to end this half with a touchdown. Nice throw, nice throw. 7-7 seven, seven still, Marshall Air Force. Is that game even, like, advancing? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's okay, let's run the same play. Stop running! They're about to inbound. I can't tell who's inbounding. Hey! Please get tackled in the end zone, not for your safety. Oh, there's a buzzer beater. Houston just scored with 0 0.1 left. There. Oh my god. Did he just drop that? Uh, this is not the time for Bumpshank to suddenly start dropping passes. That was a first down, too. Tennessee versus Alabama. That should be a pretty good game. The, uh, <laughs> the Vandy one should be a blowout. Last time I was at Alabama versus Tennessee, did not go so well for us. Hmm. Charles. Charles was one of the uh, guys in my first recruiting class. 
That was at the game where Tennessee went on a oh, game winning field goal? Was that last year? Are you saying that game was last year? That a boy doesn't get in the end zone somehow? I thought he was in the end zone. 2022. I was going to say, I, I, uh, I have a hard time remembering like specific games like that. Especially if they're not Big Ten games. Yeah! We got a touchdown. Wouldn't be surprised if Tennessee does really well in the NCAA tournament. Like, Tennessee could make the Final Four this year. They're that good. I think they're ranked like fourth in the country. Get outside, get outside, or don't. Any Auburn fans in the family? Alabama, Tennessee. Vandy, any Vandy fans? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that could have been a game changer right there. If that was a pick six, I'd suddenly be within four points. Actually, I, I would have gone for two. I could have been down only three points. Big hit. But it's like, hey, if EA is going to be making a college football game that should come out this summer, you've already done half the work to like get colleges on board and have a framework for getting players on board. Maybe, maybe there could be another, uh, maybe there could be an EA sports college basketball. If the new college football game is super successful, maybe they could try to launch a basketball game. Oh, I dove a little too soon. Me and my siblings, born in Alabama. Everyone else was Tennessee. Dad's from West Virginia. There you go. So West Virginia fan. And all of us but one are Bama. Wow, that opened up. If you're not like 30 years old and haven't been a... Bama fan for 20 years. It's like you're you're allowed to change if you're young enough. If you uh, haven't locked in your loyalty that long. Why can this quarterback not throw accurately anymore? He threw so accurately last game. Like that needs to be. You need to lead the receiver more than that, my guy. That's his third interception this game. Welcome to the bench. Putting Benson back in. We're putting the uh, fast quarterback back in. We can at least try to run some read option or something. It's like most of the time now, <laughs> if something terrible happens to my sports teams, it's like I just get mad. Yeah, you just get mad and then go online and post, like, oh, let's fire the coach. This coach sucks, get a different coach. Or this player sucks, let's get a transfer in a better player. Damn, it was it was 11 years ago? I can't believe it was that long ago. Do a read option now that I got my fast quarterback in there. Mm, never mind. Why is my receiver not even trying to catch the ball? Yeah, it's like for college and high school. When you start to realize it's like, oh man, I've spent <laughs> so many of my years and all my teammates have spent this many years and all the memories and stuff we've made together. For sure. 
It can get emotional. Let's see if I can uh, score three touchdowns here. <laughs> There's one. Let's go. Mmm. Comeback time. Why is Oklahoma's running the clock? Are they? Is Oklahoma really scared of me coming back? Mine is coming sooner. Thank you, Lil Nas X, for mentioning Oklahoma. Charles is gonna make this interception. Oh. Dude, it makes that catch, and then I actually do start believing that I could come back and tie this. I guess I'm going to get the ball in that range anyway. Whether I caught that interception or they punted to me. Well, like some schools, it's like normal for them to have like a Division I prospect every single year. I just think that's nuts. Wow. Where was this offense the entire game? <laughs> now suddenly I can get these bombs. Wide. Because they're going to go for it on fourth if I don't get it. So I could throw short if I needed to. Hayden or Holiday. No, that's a terrible. Oh my god. Going to convert this fourth down. Keep hope alive. Oh my god, I actually did. <laughs> that was luck. That was lucky as shit. Valiant effort at the end here. 